here on the G's footage garage um, as you guys can see I'm filming with poor quality today I'm using my iPhone uh, I'm not using the GoPro I should have used the GoPro but I didn't bring it with me I'm on my way to work it's very early in the morning and as you guys can see the Sun is just kicking my butt it just beams real real hard on me um, and as you as you guys saw on the last episode we did on the e-golf I have to remove the tinted windows because you know I got popped so I gotta take them off. Um, I may do them a little lighter, maybe something where the cops don't mess with me, but uh, we'll see. I mean, as it is, it's not even that dark. I think it's like 20%. Um, but I have this issue where every morning and every afternoon, so on my way to work and on my way back from work, I get the sun beating right on me. And I think it's a design of the e-golf where it has this huge window. Um, and it's just kind of hard to not get the sun to to kind of hit you really good, you know? Um, so I got a solution for that. I actually bought um, WeatherTech's uh, window shades, the ones that go here. So when I get back home from work, uh, we'll hopefully we get to install those today and uh, and then we'll do a video of another day going to work and see how, how much they helped on the reduction of light coming in and how much light beaming on my face. Cause it's like, right at my eye level so um I'm hopefully those little shades help a little bit um and uh yeah but uh overall the car is cool guys i love the car it's just that i get a, like with the big windows i get a lot of uh, a lot of light in here um and with california being so strict with tinted windows it's really hard to you know to have tints but um but yeah uh let's uh Let's touch base on a little bit. Actually, I just realized that on the last video, I didn't have um, my sunshade here uh, from factory helping out, uh, but it doesn't really help. As you guys can see, like right now, when the light hits, right now I'm passing through an area where not a lot of light comes in. But if you guys can see here, like on, on, this, on this position here, all the light still comes in. I don't know if it's because this thing's way too high up here or it doesn't go all the way back but look at that, you see that? I still get all the light, see? There it goes. So with the sunshade or not, I still get plenty, plenty of direct sunlight hitting me in the face. So I'm hoping these little these little um, uh, window shades um, that WeatherTech sells helps out. Uh, I'm not too fond of the look, to be honest with you. I'm not a big, uh, styles or look type of guy I mostly go for like performance stuff but um we'll see how they look i mean this is kind of like a like a euro car so it should look pretty cool i think okay guys so my solution to this issue that i'm having is some weather tech window side shades i guess you call them window side shades um by weather tech uh weather tech is that company that makes uh, those really sick formats i got some of those too so we'll, we'll install the floor mats at the end of the video and give a review on those guys. But um, today my goal is to install these uh, WeatherTech side window shades um, in efforts to reduce some of that light that comes in. Because uh, as you guys can see, the Volkswagen has this huge window. So these little things are going to go like right here. So hopefully if my idea works, um, they should prevent a little bit of uh, light from coming in. So we'll see. Um, or at least that area where the visor doesn't hit because the visor stops like right here So I'll get that extra coverage. So Worth a shot, right? 
and i'm hoping it looks pretty cool um i'm not sure how it's gonna look you guys comment down below and let me know hey that looks super super tacky or that looks pretty cool because i know some of the euro cars some of the like the imports and stuff like that they use them a lot for looks um i've never installed them before so this is gonna be my first take on this so let's get busy guys <laughs> use some of this uh, water, waterless wash from Chemical Guys. Part's filthy anyway. channel channel window channel ensure the edge rests on top of the outer one over here okay. wasn't that bad um i usually dread these type of installations that the cosmetic stuff usually kicks my butt but this actually came out pretty good and it was really easy to do not too bad i actually like it it looks pretty cool that does look pretty rad let's do the one in the back Okay guys, so the rear window has a, an adhesive on it, as you guys can see here. Um, which I think may make this a little difficult. Hey, what is this? What? Maybe the people from the tin shop left that on there. Alright, so... This bad boy is going to go in here, like this, so it doesn't look too hard. Uh, the instructions say to remove the adhesive before installing, which I think obviously, right? Um, okay, let's give this a shot. Well, that was surprisingly very easy. Um, hmm. Gotta give that two thumbs up. But now the real test. Just open and close the windows and see if they don't fall off. The instructions say to do it very slowly. But uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I like it, guys. It looks pretty dope. They survived um this one the back window this one's easy this one goes up and down real easy this one i can i can hear the window when it hits up in here it's a little tight because it rests it rests right up against the window um but it actually came out pretty good oh man i left the sticker in here let me take that off i had to lower the window and take the sticker off i forgot it in there um but it looks pretty good i think 
So tomorrow on my way to work, hopefully we got a we got a sunny day because it's been pretty gloomy lately. But uh, we'll do a test tomorrow. I'll take the GoPro with me and then uh, hopefully we get to see if, if this helps out at all. But uh, from the inside, it looks pretty cool. Watch, I'll show you guys. So hopefully, hopefully it uh, works out. Um, we have a little bit of daylight left. Uh, maybe we should knock out the, the floor mats. Check those bad boys out. All right, so these are the, the floor mats here. They look pretty sharp, actually. They're digitally, digitally measured, so they follow all the contour lines of the car. Um, pretty pretty sick they look pretty cool um well let's slap them off right now i'm using some uh budget ones that i made i got these from uh, from sam's club and i just cut them to shape that's what i was using before and now we're gonna upgrade to these bad boys so let's check them out um Carpet's pretty clean. Slap this on. Let's see, do they fit? Oh yeah, those are pretty, those are pretty rad. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Protect the size and everything. All right, I'm with it. Yep. I gotta admit though, these rubbery ones had a better feel to them. Nice and rubbery. Those are like really hard. They're not as rubbery and soft. But maybe that's why they last longer probably. They're more more strong or i'm guessing i don't know but i like the feel of these cheapies better um okay let's slap these guys on on the other side it looks pretty good um as you guys can see the only area of concern is going to be over here uh there's a little opening probably get my about a finger in there um i'm hoping maybe on a hot summer day this will kind of mold down but everything else is pretty legit you guys can see down here not bad not too bad not too bad um i just got the front i didn't feel the need to do the back um i have some little cheapies from sam's club in the back that should be fine but uh yeah looks pretty good well guys we we're able to pull it off before well we did lose sunlight but you know it is what it is um tomorrow i'll update you guys and i'll let you guys know if uh if uh if this worked or we just did it because it looks cool now at least it looks cool i think so catch you guys in a bit I just finished washing the car and I actually I noticed it when um when I was installing them but I didn't think it was that bad but check it out guys I don't know if you guys could tell but there is like like micro swirls um see it right there from when they when they shipped them in the plastic it was like scratching it uh, both sides are like that 
Oh, well, this there's no light on that side, but <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can tell. Maybe I can uh, put some wax on there. Maybe it goes away. I don't know, but I did notice that it's pretty pretty noticeable. I don't know if you guys can catch it. There it is, right there. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll try to put some wax on there. Maybe it cleans them up. If you guys had the similar issue with these, let me know. Comment down below. But it's kind of that sucks. Uh, maybe in the daylight you can't see it. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. But car looks good. Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put the the shades to the test here. Um, I think they look pretty good during the day. They look actually fantastic. I actually like the look of it. Um, it sucks though because we washed the car last night and it looks like it was a very dusty, dusty night because the car is completely, completely filthy. Um, look at that. Full of like ash. There might be a fire going on somewhere. Um, but. They look good. I like how it looks. It looks pretty. Uh, it looks pretty stealthy. I love it. But let's go ahead and uh, drive this bad boy. Okay. One thing I always struggle is taking this thing off. I don't know why. Let's see. There it goes. It wasn't too bad that time. Now we're ready to drive. Still got some light. Let's see here. Um, you know what? It's a little better. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little better, but I still got I still got that light. Let's see. Let's try with the visor. All right. Let's see here. Minimal, minimal improvements. Um minimal i do feel well it is what it is guys my my idea didn't work my plan was flawed didn't work out they're just not thick enough to cover enough of the window that i needed to cover but hey it is what it is guys um they actually look pretty cool so um you know i i i, I kind of like them they look pretty cool they look pretty dope and they give me a little bit it's a little bit darker like it, it 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 there was a little bit of an improvement all the way around um i feel like uh like less light does come in a little bit because i mean it is darker material all the way around the windows so it did help a little bit but just not not for what i wanted it to do right i wanted it to kind of cover this little area here but hey it is what it is um i think the the product's pretty cool it's uh it was easy to install like fairly easy to install i thought it was going to be a lot harder but it was it was cake to install um they see it seems pretty durable and uh, yeah guys i like it and it looks super cool so um we'll we'll have to uh we'll run it but um i did notice right now when i was driving um there's a little bit of like like wind noise a little bit like a tad bit of wind noise and i know that wasn't there before the the the, the side shades it's not like um like wind noise um like air coming into the car nothing like that it's more like a little like like a little i don't know like i could like maybe the air is hitting the the, the side shade a little bit and causing a little bit of a noise but it's it, it's very minimal um on the bright side uh, i could put my window down i could crack it open and it doesn't get too uh too overbearing like the air doesn't doesn't make doesn't come in too much um i heard you could even crack the window open when it rains and the water comes in so that's pretty cool but hey enough about me rambling about random stuff um again guys thanks for thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me in the garage today and tinkering with cars um and we'll see you guys next time Later.